Even though official statistics show an impressive amount of tourists every year, Frankfurt am Main is now commonly on top of people's bucket lists when it comes to visiting Germany. Frankfurt operates Germany's busiest airport, almost doubling the traffic of the country's second busiest airport in Munich, and being also the fourth busiest airport in Europe. So what I'm trying to say is that if you've traveled to Europe from overseas, there's a high chance that you've already technically visited the city. But have you ever really seen it? Frankfurt is known as a busy modern city, a hub for commerce and banking, famous for its business district full of modern skyscrapers that houses the European Central Bank and global businesses like IBM, PNG, Amazon and SAP. Ugh. And I can hear you losing your interest already. That's not why we're here today. Today, I'll show you how to have a blast in Frankfurt on purpose. Because Frankfurt has so much to offer. It has adorable old-timey buildings, it has its cool and hip side, it has diversity of culture and cuisine, it has modern shiny skyscrapers, but also an astonishing amount of nature. And a surprisingly pleasant fruity drink that is intertwined with its history. So, let's start with a vaguely numbered list of reasons why you should not consider Frankfurt just a stopover destination. Germany prides itself on beer, but in Frankfurt, another beverage is king. Apfelwein, apple wine, also known as Ebelwein, Schoppe or Stiftje, has been Frankfurt's most popular drink for over 250 years. You'll mostly enjoy it in apple wine taverns surrounded by jovial older Germans and, of course, other curious tourists. Despite its name, Apfelwein is closer to cider than wine. Except apple wine is still not sparkling. Its alcohol content is usually between 5 and 7%. It is served in a typical jug with blue decorations called Bembel and drank from traditional ribbed glass called Geribtes. I've heard that the ribbing on the glass is actually not just for decoration, but it was supposed to help you grip the glass in the times before cutlery when people ate with their hands. A perfect meal to go with your apple wine is Frankfurt to Schnitzel, served with traditional green sauce. A dish so important to the city that it even has its own monument on the outskirts. And vegetarians don't have to worry, because green sauce with eggs and potatoes is arguably an even more traditional dish. And even vegans will find their way as some local establishments started adapting their menus to offer vegan versions of this traditional dish. Frankfurt celebrates its love for apple wine with an annual apple wine festival, so if you happen to be in summer, don't miss it. And for those of you coming any other time, there's an Apple Wine Express line operating on the weekends. Picturesque, medieval, historic and built in the 2010s? The new old town in Frankfurt is a result of a unique urban development project called the Dom Röme Projekt which sought to rebuild the Altstadt, or the Old Town, from the ground up. For reasons we probably don't need to get into here, this area was completely destroyed as between 1939 and 1945, thousands of tons of explosives were dropped on the city by the Allied forces. We don't have time to dive deep into history today, but basically until the Second World War, Frankfurt's Old Town was one of the best preserved in Central Europe. That unfortunately ended with the end of the war, and then multiple things happened, including the finding of the remains of an original Roman settlement, the construction of the Dom Rennes subway station, the construction of the brutalist technical city hall in 1972, the long and drawn out public debates over the future of the district, the demolition of the brutalist technical city hall in 2011, and then finally, the laying of a foundation stone for the new old town in 2012, beginning the total rebuilding of this quarter. That finished in 2018. So if you weren't aware that Frankfurt has a beautiful old town district, that could very well be because, well, until recently, it hadn't. The Dom Röme quarter, situated between the Dom, Cathedral, and Röme, the old city hall building, was rebuilt with some complete reconstructions and some newly designed buildings incorporating historical style. Today, the Dom Röme quarter perfectly balances the dynamic but somewhat cold appearance of modern Frankfurt giving the city back its heart that it was sorely missing. 
If, however, you're on the hunt for some actual medieval buildings, Frankfurt still has you covered. About 30 minutes west from here is the area of Hux. Unlike the center, Hux was pretty much spared the World War II destruction. A popular day trip destination, Hux can offer a true essence of a historical town, with winding alleyways and timber frame buildings. And just like the center of Frankfurt transformed itself in recent years, so did the city's notorious Bahnhofsviertel, known better as the city's red light district. And while drugs are still present in the area, various aid programs and initiatives have managed to lower the death toll and danger to users significantly. Nowadays, many cool bars and restaurants can be found in the Bahnhofsviertel. The district, now referred to as trendy instead of dangerous, is home to probably the most diverse community of people in all of Frankfurt. A wide variety of cultures and social classes meet here to create somewhat of a unique atmosphere. Visiting the Bahnhofsviertel is definitely an experience. An experience of contrasts, just like the rest of Frankfurt. Vibrant bars and trendy restaurants just a stone's throw away from drug injection rooms. The red lights of bordellos flickering in the distance as you sit down for a fancy cocktail. A setting to experience for yourself to truly understand. If you do, please remember to show respect and dignity to all human beings who find themselves in and around this district. And Frankfurt has more cool neighborhoods to offer. For example, the lively area of Upper Bergerstrasse, with its colorful eateries and bars. All that can make Frankfurt sound very urban, like it's mostly buildings, old and new, along the river with some small parks in between. However, a quick glance from above will reveal that Frankfurt is way more than that. Frankfurt is green. A perfect area for relax and leisure, the Frankfurt city forest covers an entire city district. Vast swaths of woodland emerge when you view the city from above. Whether that's from the center, like from the cathedral's bell tower, or from the forest itself, like from the lovely Gethe viewing tower. The Frankfurt City Forest is the largest inner city forest in Germany and a perfect place for a stroll through nature and a break from the hustle and bustle of the city. And when you emerge from the woods, relaxed and ready to learn, Frankfurt has got just the thing for you more knowledge than you could possibly ask for. Frankfurt is home to a number of museums, 38 of which are grouped together to form the Museums Ufa or Museum Riverbank. That means that you can buy one ticket and visit all 38 of them. History, art, architecture, film, football, leather, romance, these are only a few of the topics explored by the ever-expanding list of museums on the Museums Ufa list. Picking two or three favorites to see during your stay is really easy and the combined ticket really makes it worth it. Want to learn more about the city's history and see some dinosaurs like I did? Easy. Done. So whether it is genuine interest or just the weather forcing you to do some museum exploration, Frankfurt's got your back. So is Frankfurt on your bucket list now? We hope this video helped to convince you not to waste an airplane stopover and consider spending a day or two in the city of contrasts. A great place to start your exploration of Germany or other nearby countries, add Frankfurt to your J-Way itinerary. Because what better way to see this part of Europe than on a trip which is custom made to suit your specific needs and preferences by a team of local experts? Start planning your perfect European vacation today by going to our website or clicking the link below. So, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!